As the test team continues to work, Massimo Marigali feels that the Monster Energy Yamaha Moto GP will have extremely critical improvements on their bike in the not-too-distant future that can be key to helping the team get out of the current scenario. Yamaha has been informed that the creation of a V4 engine will expedite their advancement and ideally let them to remain in MotoGP for an extended period of time. The Japanese company, a longtime dominant force in MotoGP, has seen a sharp downturn. Additionally, they've been informed that while the foundation for development is in place, results won't be apparent until at least 2025. One of Yamaha's primary problems, according to Fabio Quartararo, has been the lack of engine power in recent years. Cal Crutchlow thinks that other issues have surfaced because of the engine's increased strength. Welcome to Bike GP. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. After pledging to be with Yamaha through at least the end of 2026, MotoGP's 2021 world champion Fabio Quartararo qualified 16th, finished 15th in the sprint, and ended 12th in the Grand Prix at the opening round. Because the team is returning to Europe after this weekend's Spanish Grand Prix and about to embark on a critical calendar stretch of testing and development, it's fortunate that Quartararo is adamant that his concentration is on helping better his factory, Yamaha M1, rather than race results for the time being. It's believed that Aprilia was unable to match Yamaha's offer to Quartararo in terms of money. However, it went beyond that. Beyond his own pay, Yamaha has planned to invest in its program, which excited Quartararo even more. Although the Grand Prix of the Americas once again highlighted how much work remains. In spite of this background, Quartararo was genuinely rather positive when he clarified that Yamaha's attention for the upcoming weeks will be on the data collected rather than where the M1s finish. We know what we need, the direction, he clarified in Austin following the race. There have been three races, and each time, we have been missing the same things. Now this past weekend was fantastic as we experimented a lot and adjusted all of the bike settings somewhat. And there's a good chance that the changes he's looking for will be discovered in the upcoming weeks as Yamaha takes advantage of its new for 2024 Rank D concession status to not only maximize the post-race test at Jerez, but also to start an ambitious series of private tests for Quartararo, teammate Alex Rins, and test rider Cal Crutchlow. In addition to the additional post-race full field running at Jerez, where Crutchlow has been practicing ahead of the race, a two-day private test at Mugello, the site of the Italian Grand Prix, is scheduled following the French Grand Prix in mid-May. Quartararo stated that Yamaha is utilizing Crutchlow to sift through potential opportunities so the race team can maximize their days on track, as opposed to attempting to utilize every resource at its disposal. In his first MotoGP season with Monster Energy Yamaha, Alex Rins is far from reaching his past performance levels. He has only scored points once and is currently ranked 19th in the standings after three rounds. It is also evident that developing the bike is currently more important than getting results right away. I'm looking forward to racing in front of the Jerez crowds again because they create a really nice atmosphere, the Spanish writer said at the outset. Rins thinks that following the YZRM1 work at the Americas GP, the test writer noted that electronics are starting to pose a serious problem. They definitely require power. However, at the end of the straight, they only require it in the fourth, fifth, and sixth gears. It seems like it took me a while to convince Yamaha that by gaining power, we're causing so many issues that we're really slower at the end of the straight than we were before. Since the bike is spinning, the main issue at hand is that our gadgets aren't able to handle the power we now have or the way they operate. Thus, even at the end of the straight, we're slow. Crutchlow also mentioned that each track has 15 corners indicating that Yamaha no longer has the strong cornering performance it once possessed. To be able to navigate the corners as skillfully as we once could, we must travel back in time. For that is 1.5 seconds if you take 0.1 seconds for each corner. In the straight, you will lose 0.2 seconds and 0.3 seconds. Indeed, having power is necessary to fight. That much is clear. Team manager Lynn Jarvis gave Quartararo a brand new bike to try out this Monday at Jerez, the first official in-season test of 2024, in an attempt to convince him to stick with Yamaha. Yamaha will test a new engine, a new chassis, a new swing arm, and some aerodynamics on Monday at the test. A new bike. Cal Crutchlow, the test and development writer for the Japanese manufacturer, evaluated a few of these components last week in a private test in Barcelona. Following the Portuguese Grand Prix, 
Quartararo and Rins were unable to complete more than six laps on the private test day at Portimao due to inclement weather, wind, and mud. On Monday, Quartararo and Rins will each have the entire new setup, including the engine, chassis, swing arm, and aero parts, demonstrating that the Italy-based team is well-oiled. The engine will be tested on Monday, using the current Spec A prototype to see if there is a noticeable improvement. After that, the remaining upgrades will be gradually added to compare and determine which ones work better and which ones don't. The possibility of rain during the Barcelona test compelled Yamaha to test everything fast in the first few circuits before the track conditions deteriorated too much for any significant running. Since the previous RNF squad decided to negotiate a multi-year contract with Aprilia at the end of the 2022 season, the Japanese mark has been without a customer outfit. Strong satellite structures have grown in significance in recent years as a crucial component of a MotoGP manufacturer's performance, primarily driven by Ducati. While Pedro Acosta of Tech 3 has been largely responsible for KTM's success in the first three rounds, Pramac, who is currently backed by the Ducati factory, leads the rider standings with Jorge Martin in 2024. After just securing a new contract for 2021 world champion Quartararo, Lynn Jarvis, the outgoing manager of the Yamaha team, is now concentrating on securing a new satellite structure. When questioned about it on Thursday before the Spanish Grand Prix, Quartararo emphasized that a satellite Yamaha team needed to have the complete backing of the factory and not just be a client. He declared, it's really important. Yamaha and I are working really hard to establish a satellite team. It seems like a big deal, especially when you consider the number of laps we can complete in the preseason. It's entirely different from Ducati in that you can try a lot of stuff and get feedback from more riders if you look at the number of laps we completed. It is believed that Yamaha has discussed with a number of teams, notably VR46 and Pramac. Uchio Salucci, the director of the VR46 team, recently informed that Ducati was likely to keep the squad. At the end of this season, Lynn Jarvis, the team manager for Yamaha for 26 years, will leave the position. However, he is laying the groundwork for the previous powerhouse to have a prosperous future. According to reports, Quartararo is now the highest paid rider in MotoGP, thanks to an investment made to retain him. The former Ducati engineer Max Bartolini is already hard at work improving Yamaha bikes in a prominent role. Additionally, negotiations are underway for the manufacturer to bring on a satellite crew by 2025. However, it is doubtful that much progress would be observed anytime soon, especially with the addition of the concessions regulation. Rins peaked with a P13 finish at the Portuguese MotoGP, while Quartararo's best finish was a P7. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.